start with unconcealed agreement. The CCP police has been all over the world, okay, and including the military personnel. They're guiding, they're guarding quite a bit, um, military guarding the so-called civilian project, cross the Bell and Road Initiative. But the CCP police has been working with um, international in many, many countries with their law enforcement. And this one is Italy, uh, Italy in Rome, Colosseum, right, in front of outside the uh, 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 the uh, Rome Colosseum. So on the picture, you saw the, from the, at the left, there are two Italian police, but on the right, uh, there are two Chinese police. So actually, the Chinese police entered a agreement with Italian government, okay? And that is why the Italian government opened doors and welcomed the Chinese police to basically uh, enforce the law in, Ital in Italy, okay? So... So, so, so I wanted to ask you, Alpha. In under what is under what kind of circumstances or pitch the Chinese, you know, government would give to it, Italian that Italian government would accept that to have a foreign government agencies, law enforcement agencies, to work openly in their own country. What kind of conditions would you accept? How the negotiation have, has to go in order for you to accept that? Well, first of all, there's zero there's there's zero reasons you're going to give me that I'm ever going to be okay with it or collaboration. Now, it's it's not unheard of, and and typically this is more with fire departments. I actually I've never heard of it in a law enforcement agency. Well, you'll have firefighters from other countries that come to learn under our firefighters, you know, through training exercises, but never in a real life scenario. Here, you're seeing CCP police in an open civilian market here working hand in hand with the Italian police. That, that's not okay. And, and and just so people know, you know, here in mm -hmm. Southern California, you know, we're seeing this issue, um, not with the CCP police, but we're seeing an issue where we're, the, I, think, I believe it's LAPD is about to graduate their first candidates of illegal citizens for police officers who under United mm -hmm. States federal law can't, can't possess or own a firearm. But LA is making a, you know, an exception for them. So it, it's the same thought process here. You're going to have a foreign citizen policing a, a, a citizen of America, or in this case out in Italy. Can you imagine someone who's illegal to your country and now is asking you for your papers mm -hmm. and enforcing your constitutional rights on you? Like the, this is extremely absurd.